It's been eight weeks since I've had my gynecomastia surgery and today I want to give you guys an update on how the recovery is going. So like I said in the beginning of this video, it's been eight weeks since I've had my gynecomastia surgery and like in all my other videos, I want to start off by answering some questions from comments I've gotten in other videos and then I'll show you guys how the healing is eight weeks after gynecomastia, what my chest looks like, if there's still soreness and all those other things that go along with it. So the first question is actually two comments from two different commenters that kind of go in that same realm of what I want to answer for this question or kind of question. So the first question is, I'm 17 years old and I'm struggling with gynecomastia for more than two years now. It has destroyed my posture, confidence, the little I had, and it had made me very antisocial. I have to have my parents consent at surgery, but haven't informed them about it yet. Any tips on how I should go about this? And the second one says, had you had psychological aid from your partner in this choice of being operated on? So I think these questions are really important when you think of having to tell someone about gynecomastia that you maybe have been suffering with. Because I know for me, not many people knew I had it. Even if they did know, it was more because they probably saw it through my shirt or you we were at the beach or the pool and they noticed like something looked really strange. I remember in high school, I actually had a friend one day I was at a summer camp and I remember he distinctly pointed out that he thought my nipples were really huge. He was like, whoa, dude, you have really big nipples. And I was just like, yeah, I kind of did like the rub thing. I was wearing a tank top similar to this and I was like leaning over. I think that's how we saw it. Or I can't remember exactly how, but I just remember it immediately made me really self-conscious. And then another girl at that same camp started saying I had man boobs because this is when it really started to like kick in and really take shape. And I just remember thinking like, I will do everything I can to hide this and never tell anyone. And one of the most important things I think that could actually help with gynecomastia is sitting down with your parents if you're a teenager or even an adult, or sitting down with at least someone you know you can trust and just telling them how it makes you feel. So in that first question, it said, I'm 17 and it's really affected this commenter's life. Like it's it, like anyone who has gynecomastia, it really does affect you more than people realize. I think it's crucial that you have somebody who you can sit down, like I said, and trust to be able to just share with them how you feel. Just be honest with whoever you're telling about the gynecomastia, about what you've kind of been dealing with, and paint the whole picture. Don't just say, hey, I have gynecomastia. Because one thing I did was, like I said in my first video, I went with my mom to the doctors and once the doctor cleared it, that was kind of it. I never really talked to my mom again until I was like way older. And looking back, I regret not having that conversation sooner with them and telling them how it really affected me because it did through all of high school and then even after when I was in the Marines and then in college, it really did affect how I interacted with people and how I handled situations. That was the first thing that always came to my mind and made me say like, am I gonna enjoy this and do something fun or am I gonna let this affect me and kind of always be worried? And I almost always let this is gonna affect me and be worried win out. And I had no one to, to like go and confide with when I was going through these things and like struggling with dealing with gynecomastia and how it affected how I was socially and how I felt physically. And I just, I felt unattractive, even though I was working out, I was doing everything I could to make my chest look better. And I do know one person I confided in was my brother. And he did tell me like, once I worked out, it did help the gynecomastia. Like it obviously didn't make it go away, but it did help make my chest look better. And it was great to have someone to talk to about that. Like it was great to get that feedback from someone I trusted to say like, hey, yeah, you still have it, but it looks a lot better than it used to now that you've been kind of trying to focus on work, working out your chest and making things look better. And then my wife, who was someone else who all along knew that I wanted the surgery. So the second comment said like, did you get any psychological help from your partner? in the choice of the surgery, and yes, I did. And the thing that I think was most important with that is she was so supportive throughout the whole process because to be honest, it's a big surgery. It's a major, like you're getting something removed and you have no idea what the outcome will look like. Yeah, you've seen results of other people who've had the surgery. That doesn't mean your surgery is gonna look exactly like theirs because everyone's case is different and there's so many things that could go right or wrong. And it's just one of those that I've never had surgery before. So I was super nervous 
And it was great to have my wife to be able to one, confide in, like I said, with my brother, just confide in and tell her like how it made me feel, how I acted in certain situations, why I acted in certain situations and have her be able to be sympathetic to what I was feeling. And then when it came time to finally like tell her like I wanna get a consultation for the surgery and then have the surgery and then even post-surgery, have someone by my side who I could talk to at every step of the way and say, this is how I'm feeling. This is how this is affecting me, good or bad. Cause like now after, it's great to have that same person who knew what I was dealing with with gynecomastia, now be able to share with her like the wins I have of like, man, this feels so great to have this gone and no longer be dealing with this. So it was just great to have somebody to confide in. So my tip for anyone who's got parents or a significant other or a close friend that they're wondering like I want to tell them either for consent or just for an outlet my suggestion is just tell them and be honest with everything you're feeling don't hold anything back tell them every single thing that bothers you about it and how it affects you because telling them how it affects you might actually help them better understand what you're going through it doesn't make it go away but it does make it a little easier so the next question is looks really good but it feels amazing having it gone do you still find yourself doing the things you did before the surgery i.e before pics or going shirtless etc rubbing your chest etc that you mentioned before how is the mental side of it the new adjustment of freedom so this is a good question because I definitely have had a really hard time adjusting to having the surgery. So I just recently went swimming for the first time with my wife and son at a pool and it was so surreal to have my shirt off the entire time and not have to worry about like if I was in the pool or out of the pool. Cause usually when I had gynecomastia, I'd take my shirt off, like I'd rub my nipples really quick, take my shirt off and then like run into the water because usually the pool water was cold enough that it kind of like made your nipple shrink and become hard. And then after you got out of the pool, there was like a short window where they would stay like that before they started to like transition back to being super puffy. And all I have to say is there was a while that I sat out of the pool and I was sitting on a like a beach chair, like a lawn chair. And all I could think was, I need to put a shirt on. Everyone can see my gynecomastia. And I kept kind of like wanting to rub my nipples, but had to remind myself, like I'd look down and be like, oh, the there's nothing wrong with them. They look fine, they're, they're flat and normal. But in my head, the whole time, no joke, that thought plagued me the entire time. Like I kept just thinking, my nipples are showing, this is like everyone can see, I need to put a shirt on. But needless to say, there was nothing wrong and it, it was just a mental battle of me having to remind myself not to worry. Because it's just something that I've done for years and it's uh, gonna be a hard transition to get used to the fact that like, this is no longer here and it's not something I have to worry about. There's definitely times I still put shirts on and the first thing I do is go into the bathroom and like look in the mirror to see how it looks with my chest. And I, every time it's the exact same result now, like there's nothing there. But for some reason, I just kind of always have that like fear in the back of my mind that one day I'm gonna like wake up and put a shirt on or get out of the pool and like it's gonna be back and it's like oh no like this is exactly what i didn't want like there's just this weird fear i have and like i said that's decades of basically dealing with gynecomastia and the effects it kind of has on you which like i said in the first question it really does have effects on you it changes the way you interact with your entire world around you and so having it gone yes there's definitely still mental like triggers and struggles that i have but those are slowly going away the longer I've had the surgery and I've been recovering. And the more it's been healing as well, the more I'm kind of getting used to the idea that, yeah, it's actually, it's it's not coming back. My shirts will always look good now. Like it's, it's just, it's a normal thing now. And the last question is, can you visibly see any indents or scar lumps on your chest when you are in the sun? So with that, I'm gonna take the shirt off really quick. Show you guys how it is doing. Um, yeah, let's get there. So as you can see, like I said, still flat, looking good. I can definitely like flex my chest now, which feels great. Um, and do have some scarring. So to that question, uh, not even just in the sun, it's just in general. I mean, it is a, a pretty invasive surgery. So I do have the scarring that's still here. Um, going on 
that you can definitely see. It's been getting better though. There is a little discoloration in the scarring as well. Like it's dark and light kind of in between, but it has been getting a lot better uh, than it was prior. And then on this side, there was an indent. There was an indent that went basically right under the nipple. So kind of what happened was when you get it cut out, you gotta think that the way your nipples go, like they gotta kind of reconstrict. So since it's so puffy and there's so much like with the areola, like once you take it out, it was kind of like the nipple collapsed on itself. And I had this indent going right under the nipple, which basically kind of, it made it look like I had a really dark scar line, especially in certain lighting. Like when I'd be standing in the mirror, you usually have the light kind of hitting right at you and it would make it look like I had this scar line. Like it was very strange because this one didn't see any scar line, it looked normal. But then this one, it felt like there was just this weird line. It, it looked like I still had the stitches in because it was just so dark under there. And as time has been going on, it's been getting a little better. Uh, there still is some indentation uh, right over here that you can feel. But in terms of like actually feeling like any lumps or anything like that, there's like no scarring lumps. I feel absolutely nothing at all under my chest, which like I said in my last video, now that I can actually feel it, it's super strange, like feeling my chest and there's no like fatty tissue or anything under there because for years I had the, the actual gland, uh, the glandular tissue underneath my chest on both sides. They felt like they were about like a nickel or not nickel, like a quarter in size. And uh, I always wondered like, what, what do they look like under there? Um, and like, what would it feel like without it? It feels great having nothing there. There's absolutely no pain in terms of like pain, like soreness. Cause for a few weeks, even after I like had the stitches come out and took the bandages off, it was definitely still sore. I talked in my last video about how at six weeks you're allowed to do light workouts. So it's eight weeks. Two weeks after, I've been going to the gym. Chest is the only area I haven't been, like chest and, and shoulders, I guess, because when you do shoulders, you do actually hit some of your upper chest. Um, like you do hit these fibers up here. But um, in terms of lifting, the first day I lifted like literally the bar. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was some dude laughing at me over in the corner because I was lifting like the bar on everything. And as time's gone on, I've slowly been adding weight back in to my workout routines, especially in the chest workout. I've been really cautious on staying light. Cause like I said, when you do go really heavy, like when I've, I've been like, oh, I can put this much on uh, in weight terms, I've noticed like there's soreness or like kind of not, not swelling, but it does like blood tends to like rush obviously to whatever area, like you get your pump. And I've, I've noticed that like, there's some swelling and stuff that it's like, ah, I think I'm gonna, I need to like lay back a little bit and chill. Um, at three months, so basically in two more weeks, I'll be able to go like full on with weightlifting and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a video on that, like how my chest feels doing a full weight lift and uh, all of that. But like I said, no real pain. The scarring is really starting to heal well. Uh, my incision scars are getting better as well. Um, those ones are uh, not as bad obviously as these scars, but I feel great. It looks great. Like I've said, it's, it's great to go to a pool or just have your shirt off in the backyard and not have to worry at all about your gynecomastia. So that is it for the eight week gynecomastia surgery update. If you guys like this video and found it informational, hit the like button and leave a comment below asking any questions you have about gynecomastia surgery or recovery, and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments below and I'll try and answer good ones in my next update video. And as always, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get updates on when I'm gonna upload my next video. Thanks for watching.